Hello, I'm Jake Rice with Team Turboprop. Today we will briefly discuss the rigging of the King Air flap control system to aid your troubleshooting efforts. In specific, we are looking at the six cam and switch system found in later B200s and all B300s. You can see the specific commercial serial numbers here. Electrically, this system consists of the flap control lever, the position switches, the motor and its relay, the indication system, and asymmetry switches to break the circuit if one wing's inboard and outboard flaps fall out of phase. Flap travel and position is shown on an analog indicator on top of the pedestal near the flap control lever, or starting with the release of the King Air 260 and 360, this data is displayed on the digital indicator in the ICAS window of the Proline Fusion multifunction display. Flap position switches that are out of rig can share similar indication to asymmetric flaps. On airplanes with an analog indicator, the indicator will point to a different position than what is selected on the handle. On airplanes with a digital indicator in the MFD, the flap pointer will turn yellow and the position will display yellow X's. For a visual representation and description of each flap failed digital indication, see the entry under ATA 27 in King Air Model Communique METP0036. When the King Air's flap position switches are suspected to be out of rig, the best practice is to re-rig the entire system using the flap controls adjustment test section in your model's respective aircraft maintenance manual. There is a portion of this procedure that is easy to misunderstand. You are instructed to rig the approach down limit and approach up limit cams to 14 degrees plus or minus one degree. If both are rigged to the same position, it can result in multiple issues. This includes, but is not limited to, flap system oscillations and traveling through the approach position. However, everything is cleared up by a note found later in the procedures, which will state, the approach up limit position is to be lower than the approach down limit position. Check the flap position indicator to ensure the needle is within the white band for both approach up and approach down. This means that the approach up limit cam should be adjusted to about 14 and a half degrees and the approach down limit cam should be adjusted to about 13 and a half degrees. Now, here's our wiring diagram. I must note that all wires and connectors not required for this demonstration are omitted for clarity. Also, the position of each switch is shown in the point just after selecting a new position. In this case, the switches are shown in the up position just after selecting the approach position. So, when the flaps move from up to approach, the S5 switch opens or actuates at the approach position, removing power from the down relay. When the flaps move from approach to down, the S6 switch opens or actuates at the down position, removing power from the down relay. When the flaps move from the down to approach position, the S4 switch opens or actuates at the approach position, removing power from the up relay. Finally, the last configuration, up to approach, the S1 switch will open or actuate at the up position, removing power from the up relay. If you have any questions about what I've presented today or need assistance troubleshooting your King Air's flap control system, please reach out to us on Team Turboprop. Also, if you have any suggestions for future content that you'd like to see us cover in a short presentation like this, please send us an email and we'd be happy to add it for consideration.